can start. Good morning, good afternoon to everybody. Welcome to this live show which we do every week, week after week for more than two years with the Corona pandemic. Today we are here for a special occasion. As we celebrated Ganesh Jayanti and Mag, Magi Ganesh festival on this Friday, which was day before yesterday, as we celebrated Vasant Panchami yesterday, which is 40 days from Holi, we all wish and pray that COVID comes to an end. But this year, when the Padma Awards were announced on the Republic Day, it gave us a lot of gratitude, happiness, and love that one of our very own unsung heroes, who I have looked up to like a mentor for the last three decades, was recognized by Government of India with the Padma Award, the Padma Shri. I am talking of none other than from Mahad, a small little town place from Raigar district, person who has selflessly worked for the last four decades with snakes, with scorpions, to COVID, who has been widely published and widely recognized world over, whether it is the Lancet, whether it is the British Art Journal, and who comes from very, very ordinary surroundings. A true innovation man from rural India, Professor Dr. Himmat Saluba Bhavaskar. A very, very simple man with innovative ideas, truly made it India, make in India, and has made India proud almost two or three decades, much before his much deserved recognition has come. Albeit late, better late than never. Professor Bhavaskar, thank you for joining us. We are internally grateful for you for sparing time. Dr. Bhavaskar is like, I call him one man army, who does clinical medicine, treats common man, treats poor people, he does everything himself, teaches students, teaches doctors, and also does some cutting edge high science research. When I used to edit JAPI, the Journal of Association of Physicians of India, Dr. Bhavaskar used to always write for our journal with some original thoughts. And he is not just involved with a snake bite or a scorpion bite. He has an originality of thought on every subject. It could be a simple subject like thyroid. It could be a simple subject like heart disease. It could be having his own views on diabetes. Or it could be simple diseases like dengue malaria. So he's truly unique in his approach. I would now ask Dr. Guru Anna to welcome Dr. Bhavaskar. And Dr. Bhavaskar, today we are going to we are happy that you have joined us. We are grateful to you. We not only congratulate you, but we would like to know your journey because you are an inspiration to the world. We want to know a little more about you. I have not given a deliberate introduction because we want you to start from your childhood to your days as a doctor, to your days as a researcher. We want to understand your journey. We want to know your pearls of wisdom. We want to know how you converted ideas into research and does research into publications at a global platform. So we really want to understand that so that for generations to come, your legend is well recognized, well enshrined, and others learn from your various deeds. I would now request Dr. Harish Shetty, we popularly call Dr. Bhavaskar Harish Shetty Guru Anna, to formally introduce you and start the session. You're muted, Dr. Shetty. I genuinely echo what uh, Dr. Shashank has said uh, without, without wasting any time. I would like uh, Dr. Bhavaskar to start and, and share his entire journey uh, without any inhibitions and share his long innings in a place like Mahard. And how did he get inspired? And what was the curiosity gene inside him 
the sh the entire ground is all yours hello hello yes, sir, you are, are you yeah, yeah, hearing yes, me yes yeah we yes, can hear you sir i am really great i am really grateful to this uh, uh there is a dr seshank joshi and shetty dr seshank joshi has always increased my moral and increased my research to be very frank he never never discouraged he always say go ahead and this important words for is a very specific popular doctor or popular professor in bombay is make me to continue run on the my roads that's a very important now let us see how i i i born in the poor illiterate family in I, around 1951 there was no electricity there was no road there was nothing it was 200 200 population 2000 population village remember that time what happens i i was working the farm as a baby in farming and you remember working in the farming is one of the greatest treatment of depression because if you tire your depression disappear and number of what happens in that during that during that days i am giving a typical example of villages when i start because i was i was happy to learn learn because nobody was reading that time my grandparent was very happy when i read papers he says very good he was and his face has enlightened me that i should continue the education you see during night there was no electricity in my my village so we used to watch the small chimney of the rockel and with that, that chimney of the rockel when i continue study for a couple of hours my idur say please the uh, slap the chimney because the rockel is costly this was our condition now later on you see we, then after completion of my just uh, childhood my i don't got a childhood childhood is a burnout and this burnout childhood uh, because of burnout childhood illiteracy not product giving, giving proper protection to my brain i suffer a lot in the lateral letter of the life which is which is intolerable punishment i received in my life so after that we got i got matricula then uh, primary education was done in bulana in the bulana district you see the even uh, even my father when i took my father to the school the headmaster kept us waiting for registration in the school for two hours and he has used, used the most work to towards my father the no in role this child, child as a child very brand that is karto that is the worst sarcastic word used in marathi language is my father was still my md i said baba i am now physician come he said that headmaster call you as a barbarian or cartoon this again my father remains remains undermined because of this after that md you seen buldana no buldana is a district place but maximum maximum work in the in during or during a vacation i have to so i have to sell out the calendars diaries panchang on the stand and i work in the temple for four years because my parents that say we cannot give education so they ran, they return to village so i raped alone for 7 to 11 years 7 to 11 11 uh, class in the bulana there was nothing people was only, i took that satranj up to 11 1130 because when the bhajan and kirtan is over i have to complete wash out complete clean that temples wash out the utensils and uh, service to the uh, this pujari pujari's families then i have to work for the uh, shop uh, that the book sellers and that book book seller at 11 to 5 to 5 it was open but up to up to 11 i used to work and up to 11 i used to go to school at the, till the 5 pm and a very worst part of see when i my school was 11 am starting i was a silly that i don't want to lose the chance of to going to school so my well, yeah, quarter to 11 i was waiting for my for my lunch and there nobody was ready to me because i was busy when i got a lunch i can reach to the school earlier and you know the pujar is daughter of 8 years old that time when i was sitting in the bookshelf book stores used to call me and the pace of her voice of her life feed and my ears are eager to listen because the call of to take the phone and this should not happen to anybody 
and this make me not to divert but continue study and the, you and i used to saturday for this some market sunday another market on monday only five days i used to go to school and very important i have to work very maturely i will be very honest and i was worried that this this pujari should not uh, allow me to go because education depends on his this resident and when i got completed the school even before you see every child is happy and waiting for the holiday summer holiday but i cause you the summer holiday started but i i cannot lose the bulana unless the permitted by the pujari and that's a, that's the reason why i was much disturbed in the life when when i should grown up like you make a good plan i become my 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 growth has become like a onesanian plant it cannot give shade to the this it is sort of very bad happen in my life where i remain and it remain printed you see what in the morning in the sunday i used to give the bread to the dogs because the puja said this to the bread to the dogs Yellow yam. When I distribute the bread to the dogs, I was my I was very much hungry. By by distribute by by just I took the by, by, eat a half bread by by just looking the pujari and were in front of the dog. That time I feel it is better. I will be taken birth in dogs. When I work because you see in the summer days summer holidays we have to work for to get get earning for to purchase the new books and to pay much more monthly fees of the school. So wow, wow, wow. in in one 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 uh, sa, sa holiday we don't get any any play work for any place. So ultimately I enter in the hotel as a waiter, and during this waiter phase, you see, you same thing happen. You see, all of my all of my yeah, like food and is because of yeah, my stuff was bad. And now uh, at eleven thirty I got good hungry. So the hotel marker was very strict. He was looking at every waiter. Nobody should eat anything. So I was hungry. So what am I? When I come uh, washing the plates, the left out in the plates, I was eating complete my food hunger. And this 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 happens because you nobody should suffer like this. And now because of this, that was life. Now I have completed matriculation there. Then I enter in the Kamwal GS Medical College where I was highest in uh, first first BSc. Nobody was knowing who is this highest. Then I my brother told me we have to go to medical. college at that time when a sir, when a farmer come with a son in the admission our professor a certificate from the rural area they used to enter indirectly towards in the reserve college that is could be so i got a reserve admissions now you see uh, continuously because of this i developed negative thoughts in the second mbbs i got a severe depression and I was and so ultimately because because I my the brain developed delusion that my admission may be cancelled and ultimately depression. My father, my parent took me to the village and my mother has passed a very of course any mother she will pass like this. Better she would have died no sooner but because we cannot now take this child, take this person with the MBBS going come return home. So ultimately, my uh, doctor said to me, "I've been knowing this." Dr. N. J. Sahib Ji was the first MD psychiatrist from Mumbai. He tired of treating me continuously. Antensol, Largactil, Pacitan, and this uh, three. This was the trio only. This Escadin, Largactil, Pacitan. Said Dr. Shetty, I took hundred. Third minute, he has given me ten sitting of the ECT. i am openly telling you this is what then ultimately i was so much improvement but ultimately he was tired he said take him to the home when i gone to the home i work very hard i was daily I, before leaving to going to sleep i was just praying to the god let me get good sleep i will serve the nation i yes yeah, like anything i have no right to to enjoy the environment around me i will serve the my nation my memory has improved i got a good sleep and see that i work very very hard an important thing that day has come to me and that time i have this i got i joined the medical college i was second highest in mbbs in the medicine in nagpur but i cannot uh, i was not interested to continue my education in nagpur at all because of environment so ultimately from there my brother was that told we should go to medical officer post in the kokan track 
Now we have decided why you go to the around the Bombay. Because well, we are my brother and we always say Bombay is a surrogate mother of India. And that's why we are disarmed. So ultimately I got the posting of primary health center Birwadi. No sooner I joined the Birwadi, the compounder son of that 10 years in when I died 20, 17 August. And 10 days before the compounder son was died of scorpion bite. He is 16 years old. Nobody has taught me scorpion can kill a victim. Nobody has taught me that. No, no, I never read in the textbook of scorpion. I contacted all the professional department, say, no, I was never heard. Listen of the scorpion can kill a day. So ultimately, I will never, you say, I was a poor man. I was very, you see, why I could do a research? No corruption at the primary health center. No private practice at the primary center. So what happens? I got enough time to learn. I got enough time to read. So ultimately, my mind is not diverted to the practice. If I have done the practice, of course, I would have seen a very big car, but out of useless. So ultimately, no sooner this car, their communication, my dear friends, daily one pulmonary edema, alternate one dead body. I was tired. I was daily crying. I was envying to the medical profession that a smallest insect on the earth killing a earning members, killing a mother, killing a beloved son and children. So ultimately, I have decided to search out the literature. But there, I got one letter in British Medical Journal published in 1961 by the Captain Munley, who says 23 died of 70 cases, 40% pulmonary edema and used to go pathetic. So then I have decided to study myself. Ultimately, what to study? So uh, nobody used to admit the patient during that period. Patient of scorpion right, vomiting, sweating, runs from hospital to hospital, ultimately died in the government hospital. Nobody was ready to. And the concept, nobody took the blood pressure of this child, this, this victim, because sweating, they, ultimately they take hypotension without taking a BP and raktata pani with Blood is converted into water. This was a concept. So. I started studying in detail their blood pressure, their heart rate, their BP, their clinical manifestation. I sit day in and day out with the patient. I forget myself that I am a doctor. You and the staff used to so this doctor, whether this doctor knows something, whether he's qualified or not, because he's continuous sitting and examining the patient. So the one day what happens? The most most bad incidents in my life. A mother and six month old child. I was sleeping on the ground floor. The scorpion flared from the from, from the this style, loose style, scarcaulum and the and the scor a scorpion stung to the mother first, get a maximum dose and next to the child. Now the mother was vomiting, suited, cold extremities. Child was crying. So six month child, she was just just give milking, giving the milk to the child and making him condolence. And now ultimately the mother in the morning developed tachycardia. I was sitting with the mother through the night. In the morning, she developed a cough, refractory cough, expected reddish fruit. And so, child was, child was dying. See, mother is mother. Mother has no substitute in the world. Now the mother, the child was continuously crying because of severe local pain. The mother applied the child to the child to the nipple and uh, died. This has broken my heart. I took oath on the same day. I will do the research. I seated and the complete data is clear. And then first letter is probably in 1978. And that letter has woke up the world. That is pulmonary lima is the one of the cause. And that is my, my mentor K.D. Sharma is a known renowned pathologist. That time he was a director of King. I took to the letter to K.D. Sharma. K.D. Sharma so happy, so pleased. He come out in the underwear that has shown me the letter of the Lancet. His word has encouraged me that important of Lancet. Is a heavier than the gold. The words in the lancet are heavier than the gold. So this has given a taste me the lancet. Because this KD Sharma was a renowned pathologist. He was my internal examiner. I studied pathology in pathology by the heart. His lecture, he has passed a first remark that my dear friend, pathology is a mother of medical science. No sooner I listen to this, I started that learning pathology from the bottom of the heart. And I, when you got an internal examiner, he has shown me the slide, blood slide. And he say, my dear friend, he used to say to a friend to the house student, whether this slide is male or female. I was very packed with the knowledge. And see, I showed him a bar body, precipitated egg chromosomes on the polymorph. As a bar body, the female blood, he has given a full mark, I become the best student. 
So ultimately, what happened? This data is complete, but they, they, you, during that film, I use less dioxin, amalfine, oxygen, and you don't respond to my even around 1970, 70, I use rotating tourniquet to elevate a failure because they see that was a very old concept. Use the rotating tourniquet is a phlebotomy. This is a phlebotomy. This is an answer phlebotomy, but no response. So ultimately, I was tired what to do. So I decided to do post-graduation. So the government has a KD Sharma make me to go to the post-graduation. I completed MD in BJ Medical College. Uh, during that MD, they arranged my seminar. And everybody says we cannot advise. Dr. R.S. Wadia said, Bhavaskar, go to the Kokan track only. And that time, hot topic around the 1980. Hot topic was refractory art failure. So what I am presenting, the victim doesn't respond to the lasic, lanoxin, amonophilin. He received about 200 lasic, no pulmonary is too clear, but tachycardia persists. So this is called refractory heart failure. And hot topic was related to the, the vasodilator. A gold standard vasodilator was sodium nitroprusside. So 1980-81 published, I take the sodium nitroprusside for a few amples and again to get myself transferred with my own cause to the ruler hospital, Polatpu, that is the first EMD in Rulatpu. And I have decided to work because whenever I read the book, when I read the, my MBBS, MD knowledge, I used to email, I used to dream of my patient only. How to get a solution of this patient? Is there any few lines? Is there any innovation? Is there any data in the rays of the hope in the textbook to treat this patient? So when I do the primary health, decided in the polar pool, then I have decided to use sodium nitroglycerin because my mind was confused, the refractory of resistant heart failure. So what in 23 occurs? Uh, in 1983, eight years old boy has come from the Nandvi village in the uh, lone child, lone son of the father. 8 p.m. scorpion sting, vomiting, sweating, tribism, cold extremities. And now I was sitting with the by the side of patient. In the morning, patient developed cup, whole nice, you could not sleep. And then on the morning, pulmonary started coughing, respiratory distress, then uh, tachycardia, hypotension. So ultimately, I took the permission. I decided in my mind, we'll apply sodium nitroglycerin to the child. I took the permission of the father, Dr. Joshishan Joshi. If that day, that time, if the consumer protection was existing, this research would have been nowhere. It has been blinded because nobody can courage with the ethical, ethical committee of consumer protection and to treat a serious patient like this. So this I'm grateful my research come in without any uh, before the consumer protection harm. So this happened then. Then what happened then patient was that in the coconut tract, it was a fact of life. If the vomiting, sweating, cold, scorpion thing, going to die. There is no recovery. My even in the child who has a scorpion bite, vomiting, sweating, the parent used to call all the relatives to prepare the funeral for next day. In the living trees, they used to prepare for funeral. I am lucky. I am so important. I am so happy that, that I could do solve the same problem on this earth. So ultimately, then this patient was started. So you see, no microset, no skull pain, no micat, no cardiac monitor, no infusion pump, only BP of the state. The spigma manometer and my measures was that. that is big, big macro set, rubber macro set. We used to boil it and reuse it. And government said nothing. We are not interested in scorpion bite. Do the family planning target completed. So then my measures have started the drop. One drop might be treated about 10 times or 20 times more. Because patient has a BP 70, heart rate is more than 150, and sodium nitroglycerin are more dangerous, should not be contraindication the hypotension. And patient has a hypotension, but I was damn sure. So we started sodium nitroglycerin. After four hours, child recover, total recover. He passed the urine, and ultimately, child gone to sleep. He, he become hungry. I started dancing, that recovery has occurred. And this is the first case in my life. Later on, we treated 160 patients, more than 130 patients with the sodium nitroglycerin. But my dear friend, on the same now, same day, I received a telegram from my village that my father died. And this I was in dilemma, whether should continue the thing, because this child has no doctor other than Baba's care. The funeral of my parent can be arranged by whole village. It's not essential. Now he is no more. So ultimately, my, my mind decided, I should serve to the father 
who has given donated his son to his son to my research the god has sent me another father do i lose i lost my original father so ultimately i stay i recover the child and ultimately discharge and child was happy so this is now the my problem is that medical officers should be able to manage now the we got a key but this key will not be utilized by the medical office the difficult nobody will have, even today sodium nitroprusside will not be utilized will normally by the physician even he are right so ultimately my solution was then i sit all the jj medical college library km has lovely dr parul ke anesthetic the bj medical lab i used to see all the journals is there and with the pre medication pre occupied that scorpion sting manifestation so one journal nenigm has mentioned prazosin is after the oral nitroprusside the birth of prazosin so what is prazosin then is a mini press alpha blocker by this time from brazil report has come the alpha stimulation plays important role in the pathogenesis of pulmonary edema so ultimately what is mini press that are not available so imported from karachi prazosin i am grateful to the royal chemist near the bombay hospital he has given me he has said we'll make arrangement of prazosin and we started using prazosi and near of 200 patient recover oral prazosin 3 hourly and patient was that published in the lancet 1986 all of brazil trinidad mexico is right many letters flooded many email that time no emails year mess year mess i got a bang but i squeeze the emails and that is a year mess but nobody from india has come back here this important now utilizing all the prazosin and with the decrease judis in 20 uh, 204 the anti venom come in existence so ultimately we try because you see if you give prazosin act after the action of catecholamines this venom stimulate the catecholamine after action of catecholamines contraindicate prazosin but when you give prazos or when anti venom anti venom first prevent the release of uh, uh, neutralize the venom and now the anti venom venom action which is neutralized by the prazosin so both act like a brother simon symbiotic action so then we make a trial prazosin plus anti venom versus prazosin alone so ultimately recovery come within 6 hours and that is published now this this are this paper is published in british me with a cover illustration of scorpion photo in 2011 so ultimately now the mortality of fatality is almost dead today no patient come to me the patient get treatment at periphery if any patient come to pulmonary edema i feel it is a failure of my research tell so this is a scorpion sting so you can ask me another question now i will ask dr sheshan to ask but i would like to share what a candid touching inspiring story from a village priest from a village temple to a restaurant to a medical college what a touching story yes shashank so dr bavaskar is a living legend he he gave his beautiful narrative how he started from very humble backgrounds how for him he metamorphosed and did medicine how he sacrificed everything he had in his life to search a cause at that time there was no internet there was no email there was no social media and he had only one goal which was the truth to find out the truth in interest of patient care that was his commitment when i used to edit the journal of association of physicians of india dr bavaskar started working not just for scorpion or snake bites there were issues related to organophosphorus poisoning and agricultural use of pesticides and we wrote a paper together then i remember and we also wrote a letter to the lancet which was published yes. i still remember that these are the two things yes and this was very different because oxymes were used palladium oxime were used for organophosphorus poisoning so you know he touched anything which mattered so dr bavaskar is now going to tell us the story how this agricultural use of pesticides the poisoning how he did research in that area and what insights he got see he is a true researcher jasa aplya kade marathit mantat hada cha master tasa hada cha researcher means he is a hard core 
रिसर्च माइंडेड पर्सन हु आस्क ऑनेस्ट क्वेश्चन टू गेट रियल आंसर्स एंड दैट एक्चुअली गॉट इन नॉट ओनली ऑन स्पॉटलाइट इन इंडिया एज ई सेड इज ओरिजिनल वर्क इन एटीज was recognized by people outside india before it ever recognized within india so we will ask him his story related to agricultural use of pesticides how they are actually disrupting environment how those poisonings were affecting lives and how he contributed to that science see we are doing a science journey today and we will ask dr babaskar to share his story on the organophosphorus compounds which are often used as pesticides in the agricultural use and how he made some discoveries in that and then we will ask him to share his story on other areas like you know he picked up from the wells fluoride i still remember he gave me a call one day ya viri cha pani madhe kai tari gadbad hai doshi याच्यात काहीतरी गडबड आहे अँड ही विल कॉल मी ही विल मेक इन्युमरेबल कॉल्स ही इज अ मॅन ऑफ सायन्स ही इज अ मॅन ऑफ ट्रुथ ही इज अ मॅन ऑफ ऑनेस्टी अँड फॉर हिम द ओनली गॉड ऑन प्लॅनेट अर्थ इज हिज पेशंट अँड हिज पेशंट हु विल बिकम ओके फॉर हिम ही विल ट्राय टू गेट अ सोल्युशन अँड इफ देर इज नो सोल्युशन ही विल फाइंड वन दॅट इज डॉक्टर बावस्कर फॉर यू ही इज अ ट्रू इन्स्पिरेशन ही इन्स्पायर्स ऑल ऑफ अस So, Dr. Bhavaskar, please tell us how you got into these organophosphorus compounds and the story which we unfolded, and then about the wells, the water, because the environment is being abused now by all these chemicals and pesticides. So, this is something which is very, very common in rural India. We don't understand. We are only looking at produce, and as Dr. Bhavaskar's background, he started with farming. ultimately man was agrarian and he has a very deep insight not only in medicine not only in rural problems not in just a scorpion bite or a snake but also on abuse of environment by pesticides by chemicals whether it is water or whether it is poisons so we will hear from dr bavaskar now his genuine real story on organophosphorus compounds the solutions when poisoning occurs and his story related to the wells and water in the wells and how he made some original contribution there dr bavaskar now we see the uh, because of the decrease uh, yield in the farming and the uh, farmer uh, maximum farmer become overloan so as a result there is maximum suicides and dr sethi psychiatrist has no contributed anything to the how to elevate the farmer society that time i have to meet a meeting on the sarpanch tahsildar i said the talati should be the uh, key person he should know who farmers as a more low who farmer is this they should be protected they should pick it up and seek to you know, prevent the suicide so ultimately what happened the paper has come from the lancet from india that they give the four five four to five grams of oxygen i be for overly so this is not tolerant oxygen itself is a cardiac toxin and we have discussed a lot of things on that later respond we read say some question master to the later now important thing in that later we will say you see many patients in the op poisoning are kill not killed by the poisoning itself but killed by atropination there was a dictum in the literature you atropy until atropination it should be vanish you should be disappear from the literature with how much atropin to be given just to reduce the craves just to increase the heart rate is a 20% no dilate the people so we have obstructed this pulse don't give atropin like this next important i advise to the government you see now there should be ban of the more toxic a pesticide you should not be available to the farmers at all you see farmers are illiterate anyway they want to increase the yield and the industry is interested to increase their uh, they increase their productions so this this is the this is the line should be broke down and this break down i told them there should be very restriction of the pesticide which is very poisonous pesticide should not be given at all and next important there should be digital lock to the opening of the container 
and digital lock to be given. Digital should be enumerated when you purchase the, the package. Only one person can open the open the uh, packed pesticide by uh, thumbing, and digital clock will prevail. So nobody is listening to me up to now. And uh, most important, organophosphorus now it is reducing in the there. Now what happens? All organophosphorus are killing our nation, killing the backbone of media, killing the economy of the farmers. They have no audit. How much how, how much money is invested and how much recover? Only they said last time there were 200 kg back, now it is 250. And the 50 for the 50 kg, they are already invested 100 kg in 100 kg back investment. So this 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 is loss. And very important now the uh, spring. You see, sprayer, these sprayers are the laborers. They are poor people. I advise them, don't give give them mass, give the give the gloves, but nobody listens. And when I said that, they said the mass will be, uh, mass will be, there's some suffocate. Well, our scientists should produce a mass which cannot suffocate, but prevent the entry of the pesticides. Why do everybody is not doing like this? Just looking, mass, change the something, change the importance of mass. And you see, agriculture is the backbone. And by agriculture support, India has support. An agriculture person has a proper, person has a power, they can enrich our nation. They then make the nation one step ahead than we scientists. Now agriculture is the very important part of our sector of our India, which is always neglected. And these are the interference which I advise. Still I am waiting for the digital lock. Still I am for the good mass. Still I am waiting that the pesticide should be banned. And this should be, the medical professionals should take this to the government. That this should be banned to reduce the suicide. And this is like the vicious circle. Loan, extra money, less ill, suicide. And this suicide should can be arrested by this vicious circle to be broken down. And now next important, what you ask about the, you see, when we see the patient in the OPD, I always read my research book in the patients. I always dig out the history. History is very, very important. Now what happened? Yeah, one day, yeah, two young daughters brought by the mother, they are stopped going to the college because of ugly looking teeth. Their peers or college children, students were teasing them. So I look at the teeth, it was a fluorosis, dental fluorosis. Then I visited that village and this village was near of 90 students of dental, dental fluorosis. Many have a backache, pain and arthritis. Now I search out where they are drinking water. Now, drinking water bore well was 180 feet. In the government rule, one should not dig the well more than 120 feet. Below 120 is always maximum contaminated water fluoride. So I searched out, uh, take out the fluoride, and it was 10 times higher than the normal, normal fluoride level. So we stopped, then I uh, we published the paper in Tropical Doctors. And the, the important thing is that dental fluoride is irreversible. While skeletal fluorosis is reversible. So well, then WHO director has come and they have closed the veil. They have, come and they have given MIDC water and fluorosis disappear. Of course, dental fluorosis not disappear. This is one thing happened. Then, then what happens? My son used to send me the newspaper from Bulldana. Cutting. That young farmers are dying of renal failure. Continuous daily one or two the newspaper or two to three farmer dying of newspaper uh, for renal failure from Buldana, yeah, Amravati, and uh, this Akola district. So I said, you repeatedly was sending me the paper cutting. What is I search only this. I contact the nephrologist. Nephrologist says we are dialyzing the patient. But you see, the scientists or doctor treating patient should ask the why till he is satisfied. These three words is important. Why, why, why? So ultimately, I have decided we'll go and see. So we collected the sample. One village there was 54 days in the last two years. A near of many patients with renal failure, chronic renal failure, was tired. They sold out their piece of love, sold out all our knowledge for the dialysis. This is not permitted in the rural area. We must give them permanent solution. So then I take out the water, blood samples, and rock. 60 to 65 samples collected and come to the Mahat. So we, for analysis, they say heavy metal, 4,000 per sample. I have no trust. I don't demand for money. 
because I, I have, uh, we just collect a few funds for data learning for the research. So we then 60 samples were sent for coaching. Dr. Pillay was very, very kindful to me that at least we'll do in 1200 rupees sample. So 65 samples then, and very surprisingly, it was rich in cadmium. Blood, rock, and this uh, water was rich in cadmium. Cadmium half lifetime is 24 years in the kidney. And then it was rich in a pesticide. That is a lead. Then one question is why, where from the cadmium has come? So we studied in detail. Now these farmers use phosphate manuals. And the phosphate manual is prepared from Ganga rocks. And Ganga rocks is rich in naturally cadmium, cadmium with cadmium. Now get to remove the cadmium, the phosphate cost increase by 10 times. So no it will be not permittable. Well, all pesticide contains contains lead. Now lead will cause anemia. Lead will increase the ferric acid level. And ferric acid will level increase the absorption of calcium against symbiotic action. Now, why? Now, my question was next, why? Why this renal toxicity only occurs in these three districts, not rest of the Maharashtra? Rest of the world, they start Maharashtra using the phosphate menu, but not there. Now, this, this is, land is a clay land. This is called Kharpan Patta. On that clay land, the cadmium is adsorbed and released in the water. So, ultimately, that published in the clinical toxicology in Philadelphia, my articles. Then there was assembly question because daily days, daily days. Now that question was they said heavy water, but that MLA said no, it is cadmium. So we search out the character of pure cadmium. So surface water has given to those all three districts and filter since the, since six years, six to eight years, no death, no chronic renal period. That is ultimately direct approach of the research and the farmers are happy. I receive every year, say Bhaskar, no chronic failure now. They are happy. This is another research. Now, most important, another research which I did is uh, dementia. You see, one day, one patient has come to uh, this uh, daughter-in-law has brought his father, fa fa uh, father-in-law that he is 75 years old. He, ha he has, well, in the throughout life, he has just deposited at the FD and he has forgotten we has kept the FD. So I think you see that it was dementia. Now, how is son? Son is also demented. How is brother? Brother demented. Father, this mother was died of dementia. So I visited the family. I studied detail. All were demented. So I want to know, you see, when you go to the neurologist, you see, our, you see, proper, this uh, President Reagan was advised 10 years before they are saying going to develop Alzheimer's disease. What about India? So I decided, can we take, diagnose? So when it goes to neurologist, all symptomatic, burnout case, when I, when the MRI shows the damage of the hippocampus, then so it is a dementia or Alzheimer's disease. That is wrong. Earlier stage. So then I studied how the memory, memory is retained because of calcium choline. And choline is destroyed by choline stress. Now they say in the some victim, choline stress is very high. So I said choline low. Another case because of uh, all the choline acetylcholine fibers are destroyed, so there is no choline acetylcholine at all. So can we do a study? Because we cannot do a choline acid level in the brain. So again, I studied all neurology, illness, love it, everything, and there was one line. RBC choline acid is equivalent to the choline acid of the brain. So we analyze RBC choline acid level. And surprisingly, the Alzheimer's disease, genetic disease, Choline stage was low, where a acetylcholine stage inhibitor will not work at all. Name and time, that is NMDA receptor agonist will work here. And the patient with Parkinson's disease dementia, choline stage was very high. And here, name and different, that is choline stage inhibitor work. Then how further, that are published in neuroscience journal, then can we diagnose earlier in the family? So we did this patient's female family, families, they take out few, few families where their history and we come to know. Even in the first generation, even the gender, young children of 15 years, 20 years, this acetylcholine RBC choline is low or high. So we can prevent, we can counsel these people. And very surprised enough, I collected the sampler samples of farmers who are exposed to pesticides. 
choline stage or when there is no loss of memory at all because naturally they are getting treatment of dementia by consuming suboptimal dose of pesticide. This is another advantage of pesticide farmers is getting. So they, they, this was this we studied in neuroscience. Now the many callers, many emails are coming from abroad. They want to do somebody doing PhD and choline assays, RBC choline assays like this. So everything is going on. And let us say, talk about the corona, how I prevent, how I treated the COVID. This is very important, you see. In any subject, any scientist, any doctor should be well prepared for the knowledge. Doctor is student till day. When he ceases to be student, he dies. Now, what do you study, boss? Now, it's a lot. You're going to study. Now, you're going to study. When you want it, as a doctor, when you wear the white apron, you have no right. To enjoy your life, give the enjoyment to others. Otherwise, don't be doctor. No, no medical college has invited to you. This is my because today's doctor is enjoy. What for to enjoy? I, I am the most enjoyed, I'm happiest person on the world because of research. So, what happened in Wuhan when the corona started and they spread America like this? I, I came to know that it will come in India because whole, what is single room now? So, what happened then? I, January to June. All those Nancy, New NGM, BMJ was flooded with the corona, corona, and corona. I read in details of corona. Then I have decided we will treat the patient. My son, who is a doctor, he said, Baba, you are an old man. You, are, you should not treat, you will get a corona. I said, my dear friends, when I wear the apron, we should unstake the patient, not to give shoulder to the dead body at all. We should unstake him. We should unstake him. That's important. So what then I continue? No soon corona started in my area. Day one. So she said, day one person we started corona. Gharat Gaisa was exam tabar sagla karasa, mas lava ne karasa. And techa made, I said, how to prevent myself? Jenner has given a vaccine to the son, not himself. If he would have died, the research would have been died with him at all. So that is the I should be prevented. So that during phase, no vaccine was available to us. Then I read that why children is not at all given corona because of MMR vaccine. Because the protein contains of the MMR vaccine is most equivalent to the vaccine content of the corona. So we take corona, MMR vaccine both. Then BCG, BCG most versatile, enhance the T cell against any antigen. So we took the BCG. And next, otolaryngology journal from America has mentioned. This AC receptor, the virus is going to go to AC receptors and protoidine inhibit or kill the virus. So we put iodine drops since, since uh, April. You never know, it's morning, evening. Uh, and when patient comes to you, the two to three bottle, the company could put iodine. So this is all again then prevention. So this happened. Then we studied detailed everything. Metformin, how to you know, seen how how real this uh, and this is the very important thing we found. Maximum patient who come after one week. Well, then one week another treated, they have developed fibrosis. Now we are facing more fibrosis. But doesn't that produce it? You see, each of the methylene blue. We have studied now the pattern neuro for two to three hundred patients with methylene. The patient who is treated with methylene blue not develop fibrosis. Because you see, this, uh, this is a bradykinin concept hypothesis. Now the cytokine storm, and there is another bradykinin storm. Now bradykinin increase the nitric oxide levels in the capillaries and capillary vasodilator exudates in the lungs and ERDS. Now bradykinin is a, uh, this a nitric oxide, uh, this uh, methylene blue is uh, nitric oxide synthesis inhibitor. So inhibit the nitric oxide and prevent the fibrosis. And very important. You see, that time, poor children, poor farmers, poor, poor village come. We used to be nebulizer at home. You know, oxygen cylinder at home. And treatment aspirin, these are routine drugs. We are used. Very important thing in this is nephroxy. NSA, NSA adding is him, enhances the nitric oxide inhibition that we read in the literature. We are using this drug and minimum fibrosis. And when you see, when the people know Bauskar is treating a case, no doctor is admitting, I examine the patient. Earliest is, Sardi, simple URI, reach to the Bauskar. Simple body ache, reach to the Bauskar. Early interventions prevent the long-term fibrosis and many research stay at home. 
This is the outcome of COVID. I am happy to tell you, near more than 3,000 cases of COVID has treated. New diabetes developed. New hypothyroid, subclinical hypothyroid developed. Now, all the, you see, when the doctor says the hyperglycemia is transited, all hyperglycemia of COVID will treated with insulin till he recover, whether the newer diabetes or old diabetes. This is very important. They use the oral diet, but insulin, insulin, insulin. And this has close observation, close exam is patient. He, he, what I say, when we examine the patient emergency, if my parent develop COVID, if my son develop snake bite, if my son get a scorpion bit, how much I disturb? If, I, if that much I disturb, I will get success. And that is a key, key role, key, key success of my life. Okay. Bhaskar, can you share your stories of rabies and thyroid? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> and just to say three three lines uh, as a doctor and researcher, why, why, why is the is the question, and that is so infectious. In fact, is no doctor has the right to joy once he has an apron. Research has caused you joy, and that is your biggest joy on the earth. And the third most important thing, sir, I I really learned is that. Go to prevent. Ask the real answer. Real question is why, why, why? And, and I think that's great. Yes, sir, Dr. Bas. Now, sir, the rabies, what happens? If there are one day one patient has come to me that the patient was admitted in our ICU. He had a old mitral stenosis, got a chest pain, ECG monitored for three days. Patient was not improved. No history taken, given less IV IV drip, and then lenoxine. Then ultimately, they say, so we'll go to the bowel They come to the morning, the morning in my hospital. We just examine in detail. The exam patient was mildly dehydrated. And I just say, bring the glass of water. Chikon in spasm. Confirm the rabies. Then I took the history. She said, yes, there was five, five, Five people were uh, broken by the stray dog. Four took the rabies, anti rabies vaccination. But the, this lady do not know because she said there was the scratches over the skin. And she has why? And she has all the swadis only. But up till one month, she developed all symptoms. Fever, headache, dyspepsia. So ultimately, then oh, why this happened? So remember, the dog licks the nail. Legs one legs nail leaks cut the teeth certain the saliva deposit here. Even that abrasion by the nails itself can cause a rabies. Now I study in the rabies. Why that's a rocket? Now after studying rabies, most disturbing is the glycoprotein. Outer covering of the rabies is a glycoprotein, and this glycoprotein when enter in the brain spinal cord, it it depresses, downgrade the apoptosis. Because downgrading of apoptosis increase the flow. Invert, you see, downgrading is inverse relation to the virulence of the virus. If the apoptosis downgrade, virulence of the virus is increased. So there is a slow growing of great death suckers, and there is proliferation of the virus until it matures and release in the brain and patient disperpaculate the rabies. Now what happens? I study in the rib, I study in the crate bite. Beta bangrotoxin of the crate bite is a glycoprotein. Now, beta bangrotoxin of the crate by glyco and this glycoprotein, glycoprotein inhibit. If you cover the beta bangrotoxin with this, uh, this uh, coverage of the rabies vaccine, the apoptosis will be upgraded. Upgrading of apoptosis will prevent, cause the uh, decrease <laughs> in virulence of the virus. The cell of the neuron will get da damaged rapidly and the virus content will not reach to the maturity and they will die, die prematurity. This was a hypothesis we have published in the International Journal of Critical Care Medicine. So this is, we are waiting, we talk in university. So there, you see, if any scientist will con continue my hypothesis, if you suck the hypothesis, there is a way, no time will be left to receive the Nobel Award to India. You see, the thing is that you can pass neurogenic fat cell, you can enter the virus, you can pre-treat pre with the beta bangrosoxin, then after a virus infection, treat it with the beta bangrotoxin. So you can make up the solution, beta bangrotoxin. As in scorpion, right, we are treated out the treatment of Burgara syndrome, scorpion venom action. 
So maximum research can be done this area. So simple thing. Then we treated many cases of the rabies without without because many are many because delayed administration. Patient come too late. Even doctor forget itching forget itching is the first sign of the rabies sign. Parasite and itching. And where to the biopsy? Nape of the nape of the neck. We must take the biopsy to see the virus. And we studied in detail this. You remember the brain is normal TP after the death of this child. The patient. Only edema. No death has occurred. No necrosis of the brain occurred. So it is a chance of a scientist to recover a irreversible damaged brain. It needs a tape. It needs a good homework. It needs a good laboratory work. So ultimately, this, uh, this rabies problem will be solved. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So, Dr. Bhavaskar, uh, you know, is a living legend. Uh, Dr. Bhavaskar, sir, thank you so much for joining us. You. you are you are pearls of wisdom. You are research mind. Your inquisitiveness is unique. You touched and gave Indian solutions where you didn't have a choice. For example, you started with your story of a child who died due to scorpion bite. It made you read research and explore the whole journey and got a cure so that no life is lost because of scorpion bite and the pulmonary edema related to it. Then you went into snake bite. You went into pesticides. You discovered that the wells are contaminated. You discovered people get kidney toxicity and deaths in rural India due to cadmium. And for everything, without research fund, without research grant, just an inquisitive mind, you got solutions for them. So you are truly unique in your own way. And not only that, you have gone right up to COVID. Dr. Shetty, the Lancet published a paper, a, 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 a photograph of Dr. Babaskar in the COVID times. How COVID was yes. managed in rural India. And, and and this is something very unique. In fact, if Anirudh can show a few slides, I, I know Dr. Bhavaskar for almost two decades now. And uh, you know very clearly, this was the paper, the article on the organophosphorus. Next slide. And this was a paper we wrote on Dr. Bhavaskar's journey on scorpion bites. Next slide. Which is with, with Anirudh's father. And this was the update Dr. Bhavaskar wrote. Uh, close the slides. See, Dr. Bhavaskar's insight is a biologist. He is a virologist. He is an environmentalist. But most important, he is a doctor. He used to publish in a journal called Tropical Doctor. He is a doctor from rural India, doctor from tropical India, but doctor who has solutions for India, make in India, made in India with a research mind. That is Dr. Babaskar for you. He is a living legend. He is always investigating. And the flood hit him. I remember he called me when there was severe flood and cyclone in, in Mahad. And his house was flooded. He was staying on the first floor his, of his house. And he has put money from his own pocket to do research and save lives. He has treated heart attacks at home. He has given solutions for heart attacks at home. We couldn't cover everything. If we cover we will have to go on and on in the show. But Dr. Bhavaskar, we are grateful to you. I am asking our Guru Anna, Dr. Shetty, to summarize the human side of your life. And then maybe we will have one final take home message from Dr. Bhavaskar to all of us. What we should do in the future? Where is India headed? What is his advice to India? What is his advice to people? And what is his advice to doctors? Dr. Shetty will now summarize the human life of Dr. Bhavaskar. He is a true learned yogi but beyond that he's a teacher researcher and a compassionate doctor and a human being par excellence so he has touched every life in every mode dr shetty your upbringing sir and your cutting paristhiti across time reveals a determination of a kind that is very rare but this determination is infectious it is stimulating and should be heard by all medical students before this, before in their first MBBS, 
not when they decide whom to marry and which post graduation to take and i am really really concerned about this fact that no medical college invites you but the fact is fact is this is something this is an experience which really you should be sharing with everybody and we will try and facilitate if it's possible the second thing sir you are very open about your medications which you have taken across time and that proves only one thing that you are not ashamed at all of sharing your larger telescopic your and facet and journey and then you worked in a restaurant when you did not have food that shows the resilience and the fragility of a man who only decides not to treat superficially but to eliminate the cause of death sir i have met doctors across my life but you are the only doctor who has started make in india much earlier than the slogan actually came you said something that i wanted to serve the nation before you started your sharing and i think this this sharing of yours should reach the youth of the country and we will see how to facilitate the same dr baskar lij english is a very poor language the word legend is very weak when it comes to a towering personality a simple human being a committed researcher and a person who has always always explored the truth all his life so personally i am touched by your journey and i will not remain just touched i will see to it that me and dr shashan joshi will share this journey across across and also probably invite you to talk to mbbs students through our own efforts at some point of time and though dr shashank knows you for two decades also i have met you in conferences i have heard a lot about you from yes. dr suhas pingle if you know him as suhas pingle yes, talks sir. a lot yes, about you yes. and, and 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 honestly english is a poor language i have no words to describe you but my dear friends please when you get the youtube video of this and the facebook post share it to a million friends share it to a billion indians and 7 billion people on the earth dr shashank said you are a true yogi you are actually a genuine human being who has the eye for, for exploration and never has any excuses mala grant nahi milala mala yacha support nahi tyacha support nahi to atta hun tumhi sagal kele and uh, i would not say thank you because thank you is a very poor word uh, let more bavaskar thrive in my country that's the only thing i can say thank you so final words sir dr bavaskar tumhe shewat sagana sabhya sanga vishesh dya sagana mudda sai kya we say now we are learning we are learn because hachkin has discovered the uh, this uh, cox has discovered this is many small parts of gene has discovered this is we learn knowledge because of them we earn our poor bread and butter because of this researcher but what we are repaying them the remembrance should be done contribution something to the literature and yalas marathi manta khallela mithala jagna थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच खूब ऋणी है तुम्हारा सर असच काम तुम चालू धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू सो मच डॉक्टर भावस्कर वी आर ग्रेटफुल टू यू एंड प्लीज कंटिन्यू युअर वर्क वी विल सी हाउ मच ऑफ युअर विजन कम्स ट्रू फॉर अ न्यू इंडिया इन विच यू आर सीइंग अ कंप्लीट चेंज नाउ थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू